Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and today I have a home decor piece for my mixed media project. I'm starting off with the Memory Box Magnolia Leaf Branch dies and I've cut these in several papers. So I have some dark chocolate and also some green leaf. The die cuts everything in one piece so you have some of the leaves that are hooked to the branches and then some separate so that you can add some dimension. So there are some full leaves and some small pieces and you can add those to each of those areas where they fit in place. I'm using my Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue to glue these in place and I've just added a few little dots to the back of one of these leaf pieces and now I can just glue this down in place. Now that my glue is dry, I'm going to add a little bit more dimension by using some Perfection ink and my small blending brush, and I can just go over the leaves to darken the bottoms and the sides. And since the dark chocolate is such a dark color, it doesn't matter if you get your ink onto that. You can just color your leaves as you desire. I've die cut an extra green leaf cardstock and I'm also using my blending and I can have some extra leaves for my project just by snipping off some full leaves from the branch. Next I'll be using the Memory Box Magnolia Blooming Bud and this is a beautiful die with many layers. This also is a one piece die so you would do your white pieces at the side, your green pieces in the center left, and then there's a stem at the very left. And to get this started, I'll be die cutting my white cardstock first, and then I'll move on to my green leaf and dark chocolate for all the pieces I need. I'm going to be coloring in my magnolia blossom with some sea foam ink from Simon Says Stamp, and instead of doing a pink, I thought a blue would be really pretty with these other colors. So I'm starting off with my small brush, and I'm just going to add some to the areas where they will sit at the base of the flower. And I'll be using Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue for a secure hold, and I'm using the picture from the die packaging to know which layers go first and which will be on top. Once I have my blossom layered up, I can add the green piece just for the bottom of the bud. And now that I have my branches and leaves glued to the blossom, I can add a little bit of green to each of those leaves to match my branches. Now that all my pieces are together, I'm cutting a piece of chipboard and I'm using the Tim Holtz rotary trimmer since it'll go through these thicker materials. Now that my chipboard is cut, I'm adding some of Simon Says Stamp dot runner to the back of this and I'm going to lay down a piece of memory box printed paper for my background. And now it's time to start putting everything in place. So I'm going to use a combination of glue and foam squares to get a little bit of dimension and flatness. And I'm going to allow these to hang off my background so that they can continue onto the matting. I'm just adding dots of glue to each of the leaves and also the branch on these leaf branches. And then I can place them on my project. If you get glue outside the area, you can just blot this off with a paper towel and it won't show. I'm adding my final leaf branches to the upper left and I'm leaving an opening in the center but slightly to the right for my message. With my panel flipped over I'm adding some dot runner glue to the back of this and I'm going to be setting this center onto an 8x8 piece of white cardstock. And to help me get this aligned I'm going to be using my 12 inch T-square and I want a border of 1 inch around each edge of my panel. Next I'll be adding a little bit of glue under the leaves and branches that are hanging off my panel onto the white piece. And then I'll snip off any pieces that hang over the edge so that it'll fit into the frame. I'm using a two-piece die for my message and the first is cut in white and the shadow in silver matte cardstock. Then I can add little dots of glue to the back of the white message piece. And then I'll lay a paper towel over and gently tap that to make sure that I don't have any of that glue squeeze out and get onto the silver piece. And with both pieces ready, I can line up my message right onto its shadow background. I've added some foam squares to the back of this piece and I'll be placing this down. And I want my foam squares to not be on any of those leaf areas. But before I get this pressed down in place, I'm going to use my T-square once again to make sure that that lines up. And now that my panel is ready, I can slide this right into the shadow box. 
put the back plate on and make sure that I turn those little holders into the slots. And then I can turn this over to reveal my home decor piece. One of the things I love about this project is having those leaf branches go off to the edges of the frame and also having that dark contrast with the leaves and branches compared to the white flower and matting. I hope you've enjoyed this project. I do have all my supplies listed in the description box below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.